so my name's Laurie Roberts. I'm Pride and Aging Manager at LGBT Foundation and we're working in partnership with Manchester Art Gallery to launch a brand new garden space outside Manchester Art Gallery, which has been designed with and will be planted by um, members of the LGBT community in uh, Greater Manchester who are over 50. We were really excited to be collaborating with Manchester Art Gallery to produce this garden as part of the Derek Jarman protest exhibition. And the idea was that um, we want to recognise and celebrate Derek Jarman's own garden in Dungeness and to produce a kind of Manchester version of that garden that really speaks to both the influence of Derek Jarman in the lives of uh, our LGBT community, but also kind of speaks to their experiences now. Because we started this just before COVID and then everything went crazy and now we're kind of two years on. The difference it's made, one of the things is about the environmental awareness. Because when we started doing this, we weren't thinking as hard about the environmental impact, climate change. Right, so this amazing thing here that you can't see all of is actually 15 feet long. It was designed in conjunction with Salford University and it contains 900 litres of stored rainwater, which the plants can then access as they wish, when they wish. So this will help sustain this beautiful planting throughout the summer, we hope. So we work with award-winning garden designer, Leon Davis, uh, who designed the shelter for the, the space. And the shelter has um, a seed and roof, so a living roof on the top and it has channels which water can then run into off the roof which then feed into a discrete water butt at the back of the shelter where we can fill up our watering can and also a rain chain where the water channels directly down the, the chain into the planter at the base. Well, we were really excited to receive um, Pocket Parks funding for this, this space and we recognised that Manchester has lots of little pockets of green space in the city centre but we really wanted to kind of transform a space outside Manchester Art Gallery that currently isn't very green into something really green and exciting. But I think this, the thing about this space is that it's going to be a beautiful space for people to kind of relax in and, and to kind of get that um, inspiration from being in a green space. But it's also going to tell the story of some of our local LGBT communities as well, which is really exciting in a place like Manchester City Centre where you've got places like the Gay Village, Sackville Gardens. This is going to be another space that, that tells the story about our LGBT communities and in this case, those who are older in, within that community.